welcome back. So, uh, last time I left, you guys from the trailer, I was uh, fixing my plumbing. And I told you guys that I have a problem with the uh, flushing mechanism of my uh, toilet. And uh, so I ordered a pump. I took the, uh, the old pump out. It didn't want to work. I connected it, tried to make it work, it didn't. I followed a few steps that uh, some people were seeing on the internet by turning uh, turning the motor using a small screwdriver to uh, make sure it's not sticking. I tried to work it again and it didn't work. So what I did is I ordered a new pump from the internet, 150 bucks. It's not a big pump, but it's, uh, it's worth a lot of money. And I wanted my toilet to work, to function, so that water would, uh, so the flushing mechanism would work and send water to the tank so it flushes. And, but when I ordered the pump, I can see that the wire is way smaller. So what I'm gonna do is extend the wire and then after that I'm gonna install it in my uh, toilet so that it works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the wire from the old pump. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna strip it so that I have access to, uh, to the wires. Just be careful not to uh, not to uh, strip the wires that are inside or notch them because that's not gonna it's gonna probably short and all that stuff. So so you can what you can do is uh, just cut it enough so that you can once you bend it like this it's gonna let's see now it breaks. So then you can take it off, and you you haven't you haven't notched your um, haven't notched your wires, right? So you don't see the the copper. So then after that, I'm gonna take a look how much I need to strip it, so that I can put shrink on top. Shrinks right here. Just uh, take your time. There's no rush. There we go. And I'm gonna need about this this much shrink. So I want to overlap just a bit. So I'm gonna cut this shrink here. So that when I shrink it on there, it's going to overlap a bit on both sides. And I'm going to cut the other shrink so it's the same length. Actually, I could probably keep the same thing instead of wasting it. So over on this side, I'll make sure that I have enough so that the shrink fits in there. So around here. And then the same, break it, break it, break it all the way around, then pull it, there you go. That's it. Then I'm gonna take my strippers right here. I think this is a uh, looks like number 16 gauge. So I'm gonna take the 16 gauge and check how much I need to strip here. So about 
this. On both wires. It even says on there 16, 18, 16, 14, all the way to 10 gauge. And you got 20, 220, 20 down at the end there. All right. And you got to make sure that you get your shrinks in there. side as well and then you put the brown wire with the brown wire on here put that in there I like to twist them because then they don't fall apart And then you take uh, this part where it's where it says insulated and non-insulated. So non-insulated is for the steel uh, uh, crimps, but these ones are insulated. So you got to take the insulated part here. So put that in where it says insulated. Make sure your wire is still in there good. And then crimp. I like to crimp them a few times. And what I do is make sure they're crimped good. This is gonna fit on here. Yes. This. So before shrinking anything, what I'll do is I'll strip this side and I'll go to the toilet, hook them up just to make sure they work before I do any, uh, before I do any shrink. So that way, if it doesn't work now, well, I would have shrinked that and screwed myself. Make sure you use the right one because if you're missing some strains, it might uh, might burn the uh, the remaining strains if uh, you get a lot of too much amperage on the uh, these little wires. There you go. So I'm at the toilet here. So I'm gonna open this. So you take this off. And then this just clips off like this. There. there you get the wires in here. And over here you get the brown and the blue wire. So, what you just need to do is strip these. I don't like this, so I'm going to try to take it off. That's not even coming off. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is strip this here. Like I did with the other one.
come off nicely, so. I'm going to put male and female connectors on these. I got some males and female connectors. And I think the red ones are the ones that, uh, if you look inside, you can see. You can see the difference. So the red ones, I think, are the ones that I can use. There's no smaller one. There's no smaller one, so it's only yellow, blue, and then red. And on this, I'll put uh, these little males on these ones. So the same thing, insulated, non-insulated here. So, so insulated at the top. I'll put them in right away so that way I don't have uh, too much of a problem. Twist them like uh, usual. Stick those in there. Squeeze them. And you pull on them a little bit to see if they're tight enough. There are. And the same here. making sure that they're covered. What I want to do is I want to do a voltage test on this. So I'm going to take a uh, meter, put it on the DC setting, put my leads in. So I got it at the DC setting right there on it I'm going to put my leads right on there and when I hit the button it says 13 volts so that means there's power over here. All right, so now I'm gonna take this side and put the opposite of the connectors, which clip in there, because these, these clip in here, okay? So I'm gonna put this end in here. Before I do, I think I'm going to take uh, this here, this part here, that is for 
for the uh, oh, water everywhere. Okay. That goes. You can see there's a grommet in there for the wire to go. And there's also a, a seal around there. Just make sure it stays there. I just took it out. So I'm going to run the wires in here. that's the part that keeps the water from coming up coming up so just want to make sure that it's not past this part here okay all right so now I'm gonna put the connectors in so what I'm gonna do is put the brown wire with the brown wire Sit that in there to make sure they don't touch together I'm gonna to press the button see if it works it does there you go so take that back apart and I'm now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go connect uh, I mean shrink this and put a little bit of silicone because I don't want water to go in there and then short the wires. So I bought I bought uh, I bought some silicone. I'm gonna shrink this, put some silicone, shrink it, and then put the big shrink on it, shrink the whole thing with silicone because I don't want any any water at all to go in there. So we are back at the table. Got my silicone here. Just gonna open this. Gotta cut the end of this tube. And then what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of silicone on each of them so that the water doesn't penetrate in there. There you go. Put the cap back on. Slide this up there. And now I'm going to shrink it using my heat gun. for the, the fingers and we'll watch your fingers yeah. make sure you're not touching anything with that heat gun as well all right so what i'm gonna do now is take this big old thing stick everything inside there Shrink it. So I don't like this piece that's uh, that's not uh, covered with shrink. I bought some more shrink here. Hopefully that's gonna fit on there. But uh, it's gonna be fun to get this out of here with that grommet. And if I can't pull it through. I'll just cut it and put some more ones. There you go. That's what I'll do. Giving me problems. There. Okay. So this. So 
go along. So what I'm going to do is cut it a bit. Probably in two here. There. Put this in here. And go right above this one here. There you go. Yeah. That's going to be... That's going to be... Real soon. Done with that heat gun. Okay. Put the grommet back in. And put the wires back in. Just keep a little bit of that up there. There you go. I'm gonna put two connectors. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Here. Tuck test. Tuck test. Good. Now let's go over to the toilet. So at the toilet here. Just want to make sure that it's going to be sitting in the right spot. In there. Oh, by the way, this is uh, going to take out the hose that connects to the top of the pump here. There. I put it all the way in. Voila. Try and slide that pump back where it was. Well, that new pump. And the blue wire with the blue wire. Let's open this. I'm gonna see if it works. Press the butt. And there you go, the water's gone. There. Alright. What I'm gonna do is I don't want these wires touching together. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of electrical tape on the connectors individually. So they don't short together and then that could lead to bigger problems like uh, shorting your battery there you go stick that back in there the wires make sure they're in there put, put it at where they belong these two holes put the flushing handle back Flush, open, flush, there you go, it's working, there you have it, that's how you fix a uh, Tedford toilet pump that doesn't work, you, uh, you buy it on the internet and uh, hope it comes in, it took like a month and a half to come in but it's now fixed. Thanks for watching.